Good morning, SMF Street, and it's a very fine day. It's Thursday, November 11, 2010. We have an extreme movement <clears throat> with the Cisco news. So just to let people understand is that SMF has a very profound way of trading against the public in its platform based on bear and bull. The bull... TQQ closed at 142.11. It's got a big gap down. We will be going long off the bottom there. The bear, on the other hand, on its ratio gap up, will have a slide half of that SMF bid on the high end there. And on the very opposite over here, the very opposite over here is that left elbow with that SMF price action buy bar that starts to rip up off the bottom and then this one peaking at the top and as it pulls back this one goes long this one's more volatile another thing we'll be doing is trading the apples off of that left elbow all of it Cisco related news that's this piece of crap right here right there it's one of the biggest haircuts that it's taken this is what's gapping down the market. And because Cisco's been around a long time, I believe that the, it's old technology, not new technology. And they're not performing well because they've got something that's a Cisco issue. And the way that they did their earnings, they're about a billion dollars less on revenue. Why? Let Cisco be the primary example that it's already ran through its stimulus with CapEx spending. And ain't nobody going to buy any more servers or routers right now until they do a new upgrade and people will have to come back. People have already done their CapEx. They've already done their buying. That's why they're so light on the revenues. But this is the related event that's causing this to gap up, causing this to gap down, and taking other equities like Google that close at 622 down to 618 on the left elbow gap down because of this here. It has nothing to do with that name. Apple doesn't have nothing to do with Cisco. That's why these left elbow gap down at these prices is where we look to see where they start coming in and where that price price action is made right off of these bottoms in here so they're going to steal premium out of call options and we're going to go call hunting you already have in pre-market here look at the volume my friends this is 34 million shares already in pre-market you give me a break that's 37 minutes and you got people dumping this don't nobody want to be in this piece of crap. Look at the shares. And they're taking the rest of the technology sector down with it. And that's what happens, MMTs. And you, on the other hand, you get the opportunity of trading the good quality off of the bottom of the left elbow gap down. And on that electronic opening bell, the stock market orders get electronically executed as the retail public sits there in shock and awe. And as they sit there in shock and awe, your job is to get in on the left elbow gap down and this is the culprit that's taking it down and 35 million shares traded in 37 minutes in pre-market is a hell of a lot of volume i'm sure you're going to probably see about 130 million total shares it's time to dump this and we had senior traders get short last night at that break when it broke 2270 that's where they got triggered in after hours and this is what happens when a stink bomb stinks it all up. And it's just Cisco because of the way they execute. So therefore, the let's see what kind of panic, let's see what kind of fear is created on the opening left elbow. Because the public, well, who cares? What we care about is taking stuff like this here 
that's worth buying. Google's worth buying. Close at 622.88. They're going to bring it down. When they hit support and price action, they bounce like a rocket. And it's a futures gap related. And this is the imbalance of the bear and the ball. And I can tell you one thing. You're looking for a left elbow bullhorn trade. And that means when that thing comes down, shooting down, and the public gets done selling out their name that they're in, and they panic out, that's when the SMF master trader comes in and walks that dog off that bottom to piss on the bush. Okay? Because that's exactly what will happen is after people panic out, UMMTs get the glory. That means that options are going to come down to wholesale prices and entries. We're going to take a look at what the public wants to do over this. Good time to sell it. Nobody needs to own it. I'm a buyer at 1550 if it ever gets there. You can set an alarm. I could say around $15.50. That's $5 below the market whenever that comes. That maybe I would start looking at, is their business model worth it? They are so short on revenue and such sorry execution. It is pathetic. And that's the Cisco. That's the bear. That's the bull. That's the left elbow gap down. The left elbow is that leadership left elbow is to get these down when they get made and then they go back up. And in a lot of cases on that left elbow entry, you get wholesale below the market and they come back up and then they go into positive territory from the previous day. Happens all the time. Maybe that is one of these days. We'll find out, won't we? Won't we? MMTs, get ready for battle. That's the left L bow. That's rather a 24.3. It be Amazon.com, rather it be Baidu, rather it be Netflix, rather it be any of them, they will have their left L bow move off that bottom. That's the money, and I have given the order.